Vince McMahon has once again taken control of WWE and his actions are already generating a lot of heat. Then again, it's not his first time. I'm Jeremy and here are the five most controversial decisions by Vince McMahon. Number five, live sex celebration. Back in 2006, Edge and Lita as a couple were generating a lot of heat from the fans, but Vince had a whole different kind of heat he wanted them to generate. On the January 9th, 2006 episode of Raw, Edge announced that he will celebrate his WWE championship victory by having sex with Lita in the middle of the ring and to the shock of the fans he actually did that to a certain extent it's still one of the most highest viewed segments in WWE history what you might not know Lita was actually forced into doing the segment during a live stream on her twitch channel in January of 2021 the former women's champion disclosed that the WWE had threatened to fire her if she didn't do the segment Lita also revealed that Edge and John Cena went to McMahon to back her up however the boss didn't change change plans and Lita would quit the WWE later that year. Number four, the Kiss My Ass Club. No chance. That's what we got in trying to understand what goes on inside Vince's head. For some reason, he thought that the WWE Universe would love seeing his employees kiss his billion dollar ass. In 2001, the fallout of the Invasion storyline saw William Regal getting fired. He begged the boss to hire him back, and McMahon agreed to do so if Regal literally smooched Vince's bottom. And uh, so he did on the November 19th episode of Raw, hence kickstarting the Kiss My Ass Club. Regal, Jim Ross, Mick Foley, Hornswoggle, Shawn Michaels, and his own son, Shane McMahon, all took part in the dirty deed, while millions of fans watched with disgust. Call it karma or insanity, but Vince once even booked himself to get smothered by Rikishi's butt. Number three, he forced Trish Stratus to strip. Speaking of humiliating his employees, this act by Vince McMahon got him nuclear heat. While he was trying to display a dastardly heel, many fans thought he took it too far in 2001 when he utterly demeaned Trish Stratus on national television. On the March 5th episode of Raw that year, the world saw the boss treating Stratus with cruelty, and in that episode, he made her kneel down and bark like a dog while apologizing to him. Damn it, bark like a dog! <laughs> That wasn't enough. He then made her strip down until she was almost naked on live television, leaving her in tears. The segment was even used against Vince's wife, Linda McMahon, during her U.S. Senate run as it was regarded as an assault on women. Number two sealed the deal with Saudi Arabia. WWE earns a lot of money and in the past few years a major revenue source for it has been the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. In 2018, WWE closed a major deal with the country amidst heavy controversy. WWE agreed to host two big events in Saudi Arabia until 2027 and this drew a lot of heat from fans and wrestlers alike due to the country's history of human rights violations. Many wrestlers including Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, and John Cena initially refused to wrestle in Saudi as well. WrestleNomics reported in 2020 that WWE gets paid around $50 million for each event in Saudi Arabia. Recent rumors suggest that Vince McMahon may even sell WWE's media rights to the Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. If that happens, several fans believe that it might be the most controversial decision that McMahon has ever taken. And number one, Vince fakes his own death. Leave it to Vince McMahon to shock the fans in the most unimaginable ways. That's what he did on the June 11th, 2007 episode of Raw, ironically named, quote, Vince McMahon Appreciation Night. That episode saw legendary WWE superstars absolutely trashing the boss. This led to Vince McMahon taking a dejected walk back to his limo, and as soon as he got in the car, it exploded. Yes, you heard that right. Vince actually pretended to die on television. WWE played this out, acknowledging his tragic passing as if if it was real, which was seen in bad taste by many fans. Even former U.S. President Donald Trump thought that McMahon's death was legit. The whole thing had to be called off as on the same day the McMahon Memorial Service show was scheduled to take place, the Chris Benoit murder-suicide tragedy happened. McMahon magically came back from the dead and never acknowledged his kayfabe demise ever since then. And that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, like the video, drop a comment, and share it with your friends. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel, Russell Binge by Sportskeeda.